percent of the remaining humans there that eat, which is like twenty five percent of the population. The rest, okay, so there's three different wolves. And I'm gonna study you guys. Okay, so this is our Spanish class, and we're gonna say hey to Mr. Valle. Hola, Valle. Good morning, buenos días. Hola, Valle. Hola, ¿cómo están? Bien. Bien? Yeah. Sí. Okay, bienvenida. Okay, so this is our work that we're gonna do for today. We'll come back with you later. It's a laboratory. Astrological. Laboratory. Astrological. It's a big word. There's no word. No. No word. <laughs> Challenge students also get to go to HCC. You picked the wrong one. I look like I'm in She was like perfectly posing and everything. She's getting white. You be Miss Mac. She's like, guys, I brought cake for us. Don't pick that. This was your one. Effectively, does Huxley support his in concluding argument? I just put scientific in his science fiction writing. Okay, very similar to uh, Orwell. Okay, so let's go back to our first question. What kinds, uh, what is his claim? Let's start with his claim. What is his claim in this? Yes. Um, I kind of worked my way into telling what the claim is. So can I just, like, okay, well, his claim is that um, the scientific method is nothing but the expression of the necessary mode of working of the human mind. Okay. It's the closing of Japan to Westerners or trade. Other big things in the time period, the Renaissance. The Hundred Years War. Who wins? Who wins the Hundred Years War? England wins it. France makes a really strong chance to win it. Who's the French hero? Uh, Joan of Arc. Yes. Joan of Arc. What happens to Joan? He gets burned. He's lit up. Yep. <coughs> Joan of Arc. What, is, what happened to her now? She's what? She's, She's canonized by the Catholic so Church. So I hope you've enjoyed this academic segment about challenge. Any questions, leave a comment below. Thanks. <laughs>